Something seriously is happening. Something very serious is happening. And our so-called political elites and leaders do not care. They're not doing anything about it. They feel very unconcerned about it. Our political elites do not care about it. Our people are red, left, brutalist. Tossed here and there by the tempests and the winds of the sea. Nobody cares. Every day we hear stories of thousands and thousands of Futajelon Kambari Fulanis being transported by every means of transportation down into our land, down into the John Nation, down into Igbo land, down into Chekure land, down into Ogoni land, down into Yoruba land, down into Edo every day. In the most unthinkable factions, in their thousands, if you go to Bayelsa today, as I'm talking, all the fishing settlement <coughs> and the farming villages are occupied and controlled by these fellows. We are job people, we are strong. We came here, nothing is going to happen. A man is only strong when he's with his people when he has enough number to overcome his enemy. We should not underestimate these people. They have our money with us. They have been receiving tons and tons of our money. Their brother Abach has stole and sharing it our, amongst themselves. A minister in a federation came to say they are sharing the money in the north because there are no poor people in the south. And where are our governors? Where are our locations ministers? Where are our women rights ministers? Where are our women rights lawyers? All of them, they close their mouth. But this is more sinister. This is more sinister. They are coming here. They are changing the demography. What are they coming for? You remember Osman Danfodio? How they came to Sokoto, to Gobri, to Kano, to Kasina, to Bida. And what happened? They replaced the Abbey rulers. They replaced the original people and took over the realms of power. They are coming. History is going to repeat itself if we don't act now. They are coming. History is going to repeat itself if we don't act now. They are not pretending about it. They are coming with war. Destruction and death. They are coming to occupy our land. Why you cannot go to your community? In Obama, yeah, how I many Obama people are at home? They are leaving their home and they are coming here. Yeah. Obama is a village. You cannot come to Obama. Those of us who live in Obama, we are backward people. Buguma is a village. Abonima is a village. You don't care. You are not bothered. But when dead will come, it will not only come for Dr. Basari. When the evil and the tribulation will come, it will not come for only Dr. Basari. It will come for all of us. I'm smarter than you. I know that I'm more prepared than you. And when it comes, I will also run faster than you. To be forewarned is to be forehand. It's not grandstanding like Wiki. I caught 14 people grandstanding. This is beyond grandstanding. 
This is a time for strategy. This is a time for consultation. This is a time for meeting. Our very survival is at stake. We must stand up and defend ourselves or we will all perish in the hands of these blood tasty monsters who will, who will give us the Sokoto treatment. Wow, I think he's, he's becoming clearer and just like what he said and which uh, I think uh, Namdekanu, that is what he stands for, that is what he has been saying. But fortunately, people always tell him, no, we don't know what you're talking about. This uh, issue of uh, Esme, maybe some people must have been saying it or maybe you know, what we are experiencing and some people, maybe they had seen it before now, but their voices were not really loud. Maybe they, they, were, they didn't want to be tagged just the way Namdekanu is tagged now. Or maybe they, they were afraid or whatever. They were saying it in a low key. I think Namdekanu is the only one who is standing and and very, very consistent in all of this. And when the thing started happening, they started with this Eruga. You know, they've been looking for ways to come to the to the to the south. You know, and just like he said, uh Asari the said that they are not even pretend they are not pretending about it. And that's the the whole um the irony of the whole thing. They are not pretending about it, but the, the so-called leaders in the South, they are trying to be politically correct. These people, like I have said it, they are not nice. They are not nice. And they are doing it as, uh, you know, trying to even be diplomatic about it. No, they are doing it and they are showing it. And people are just like, no, it does not matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. The same thing people have been complaining about a, a Chinese people, the way they have been doing. And the question will be asking our leaders, does this mean they have not been, they have not been hearing what is happening or they are in a different planet? I was surprised when uh, uh, Abike Dabiri started telling, saying, oh, uh, Chinese don't want them in their country that they should be a law abiding. I don't just understand. I don't get it. Don't see me once they get to that position, something else replaces their mind and they begin to ask in a different way. Or is it because of the position they are looking for? I don't understand. I don't just understand that majority of them do not even have integrity. Now she has beginning to agree to what people have been saying. Everybody see everybody sees what happens and what is happening. But the so-called leaders, they turn blind eye. They behave as if they don't understand the, the, the plight of the people. I don't just get it. The same thing is happening in Nigeria. We are talking about the international one. But we are talking about the one the ones happening under our nose. What do we do? Nothing. We, the next thing we start abusing ourselves. You know, is it not the same uh, thing that Namdekano has been talking about? You like him or you hate him. You know, he does not... That does not change the fact. That does not change anything. Whether you want to, they go to go and be saying, "Oh, he's dead." Is he's seen consequential? That is not what it, uh, it means. That is not what is important. What is important is the truth, and the truth shall always prevail, no matter how uh, it's going to be delayed. People are seeing this in, but they so call it as I don't know what they are not seeing it. Go and ask all the governors. They will not come out. They cannot see it. They can't see anything. They are, they are trying to be politically correct. And do you know the reason why they are not talking? Because of their selfish interests. Because of their selfish interests. Because before, before you start saying it, by the time they start talking about all of these things, you see that they will want to go after them. They want to, they want to go after you at the end of the day. The position, they are not going to be there forever. What guarantees you that you are going to be there forever? We always dwell on temporary things, things that are not permanent. We dwell on them. Even the people themselves, they, they love to be lied to. Even when they know the truth, they don't just want it. Like I always say, maybe, I don't know, some people, maybe they have a covenant with a suffering. They have covenant with suffering or their mind has been dissuaded to, just to not to even see things the way they are. You cannot tell me that all these things that are happening, all the southern leaders, they don't know what is happening. They don't. The governors don't know what is uh, happening. The so-called uh, 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 leaders, in all those places, they don't know what is happening. How can you say there is interstate lockdown? People who have who uh, uh, who have been on lockdown before now, everybody, uh, 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 stayed back in their in their various places. But why is it that they want to say different thing? And somebody will come and be telling you quoting law. Which kind? What kind of law is that? What kind of law is that? The same thing happened when we see truth. We are trying to cover it up. No matter what it is, even everybody can be on the same uh, uh, page. But it's just few people that will be able to say, this is the way things are supposed to be. 
A typical example was what happened in in in, in, in River State. Simple law is being put in place. Some people will flout it. Once you are being dealt with, no, they, they start abusing the, the, the leader. They start abusing, oh, why would you do this? But they will not ask the person, why did you in the first place? Does it mean the old hotels in the in the in the in the state were demolished? No. So coming back to what Asari Dokuba is saying, I don't know because at times too, you don't you can't even you don't even understand where they belong to. Today they will be here, tomorrow they will be here. You are not consistent. And that is why these people are like, you know, they take advantage of the inconsistency. They take advantage of some of the people who are not even ready to even speak the truth. When it's beginning to be it hitting them hard, that is when they will now be talking. The issue of Esme, have they been consistent? Even Asari Dokubo, has she been consistent in this issue of Esme? See what uh, has been happening in Delta State, in Niger Delta. This Fulani Esme, have they come out to speak? And people are like, where are the, the so called, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, all these uh, uh, people involved in, in this amnesty, all these militia, they call themselves. Is it only pipeline they are just bothered about? And it shows how, 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 selfish majority of them are because they just believe in that this and so every other person should be banned to the philistine oil uh, and uh, amnesia what have you and a lot of things have been going underground nobody's saying anything anything so no, no governor can even start what is the meaning of all of this is this thing is rampant it's, it's something that everybody knows have you ever heard or seen or uh, uh, all these uh, 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 southern uh, people yoruba or whatever Igbo? Or Igbo and uh, other tribes. Have you ever seen them going to the north and be causing problem? Have you ever seen them? Have you ever heard it that they are in group? They are, they are causing problem. It is the same northerners, northerners that are always causing problem. They have their in different factions. They have this Amajiri. They have this uh, what is it called? The Esme. They have a, a Boko. They have a. They are the ones that have a bandit. Everything and they are always coming to this side. And the, the so called leaders will not be able to say anything. The ones, the one that will be saying it, or the few ones that will, that will want to stand and say no, this cannot, this cannot continue. Everybody cannot just face the same direction. They will begin to tag that person. So it is not new. These are the things that Nnamdi Kano has been saying. So I don't know whether he's just saying it for the first time or he's just hearing it for the first time. At least the leaders are just trying. The southern leaders are just trying to. The governors are just trying to. I don't know. Uh, trying to okay, because of the COVID nineteen, be sending them back. But this issue of Esme, have they been able to, you know, have they be able to say no? This thing, this is the way this thing. We don't, don't speak. No, they will not speak. They will not say anything. They are trying to be politically correct. The incident that happened in Anambra when they said some some guys on 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 bike or the car that they call them with a AK forty seven. A lot of you heard about it. What has happened? The question is that what has happened since then? What are what has the governor of that state done? How has the police handled the whole thing? They were there, not that uh, the, you needed police to come and uh, the, you needed to tell inform them, or the police needed to be informed before they would be aware of the whole thing. They were there. What did they do? Nothing. Nothing. Since this lockdown, these people have been violating the lockdown, even in their places. Have you ever heard that a pol any policeman or soldier killed any of them? But if it is in the south, they would deploy all, all the this thing. They would deploy it in, 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 in the south. When the lockdown was uh, in, in place, they sent all the soldiers, all the whatever. And you see, you see how they were taking people's lives. But now these people have been coming out. They've been protesting that they don't want to be on lockdown. Did you see any uh, police uh, person there? Did they, did they do anything? No, they didn't do anything. And does it mean our, our so-called leaders in the southern part of the country, they are not, they are not seeing it? What is the problem? Why is it that their mouths are sealed? That is just the truth. That is just the truth because all of a sudden, stay back. Even if they are transferring them from their region, from state to state, from one state to another in their region, let them be there. But why would you not leave your region? What is the problem? And some people will be telling you that everybody has a, a movement, a, be a right to movement. What kind of right to movement when they are flouting order? And it's not even when they come, they are even going to, even if they want to come, there should be not even now that there is a there is a, 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 a an order concerning that nobody should move and you expect them not to be sent back. Even if they want to come even after this whole thing, what do they usually come and do? They are always causing problem. The problem, problem, problem. Who is gonna be uh, uh, footing all those uh, whatever? So the earlier the people themselves know the better. 
the earlier they know, the better. And let's hear what the people are saying. Wow. Someone says the truth. But unfortunately, we have dumps and uh, as governors in South East and South South. But when the heavy rain fall, it will surely fall on all, whether governor or the governed. Asari Dukubo, I thank God that you understand the meaning of their action in time. This is what the Igbos saw in advance and started looking for a way out. And our southern brothers did not understand us and at the same time uh, tag us bad and greedy people. And another one says here that, Mr. Asari, you have said it all. It is for the South, South and South East leaders to sit up and act now. That is not too late. How can they hold a meeting while they are sabotaging each other, looking for who will be the next president in 2023? That's just all, all they want. That is just all they want. They don't think of anything. Community leaders should organize themselves, put their minds together and avoid spreading the word of hatred among themselves and prove, of, prove to the enemies you have one mind. Except uh, Governor Wiki, all other governors in the southeast, south south are... I don't know, visionless, my old pig, selfish cows, their northern counterparts are outing their fingers in their eyes. And uh, what did they do? Nothing because uh, uh, of food, because of position, and they are there. We don't even know what they are talking about. People that are so lawless, impunity of the highest order. So, guys, uh, let us hear your opinion concerning what Asari has said. Leave your comment below and let's have your take.